Hi, this is Ginger. Welcome to this channel. Whether you're a regular subscriber or you just landed on this page by accident, I'm thrilled you're here. Today I'll show you how I made this bouquet of flowers while I talk about Karen Dashnia Color 2, which is one of my favorite water-soluble media. Um, I've used it many times on paper, either alone or with a string of other materials, but today I'm going to apply it on canvas to show you just how versatile new color is. I have an old new color set packed in a blue tin in a, and also a larger 84 piece set in a newer solid red packaging. Though the outer presentation changed, the wax pastels themselves still have that same quality performance you'd expect from a Swiss made product. The inner sleeves here of this new packaging it has space for color swatches, which I find very convenient. A flimsy plastic organizer sits on a metal tray, so that's sturdy. You can spread all your colors on the table while working, and you can still keep all of these crayons in order. Each crayon has a barcode because you can buy individual colors, open stock. The paper covering has arrow marks to indicate whether uh, if you need to peel off the paper already, you can do so. Karen Dash claims that we can use Neocolor 2 wax pastels on stone, on glass, leather, fabric, and paper. However, it was not manufactured as a cosmetic product, so it can't safely be used as body paint, like for face painting. It was not uh, dermatolo dermatologically tested for such purpose, although I've seen some people use these pastels for face painting with great success, I might add. In this video, I'll put these wax pastels to the test and demo them on a recycled canvas. Now, while off camera, I prepped this old painting and covered it with thick gesso. I purposely allowed some of the paint to show through, so I can just have a bit of texture here already. Although these wax pastels can be sharpened like a pencil, I prefer not to do so because I don't want to waste the shavings. If you need to work on tiny details, instead of sharpening the crayons to a fine point, one alternative is to pick up the pigments from the crayons using a wet brush then paint with that brush instead. Uh, I usually do it that way. Uh, the metal box here may say that this was made in Geneva, Switzerland since 1915, but don't misunderstand that line. The Color 2 was only created in 1972 to expand the Neo Color 1 range, which first appeared in 1952. Neo Color 1 is a water resistant product line. Uh, the water solubility feature was later added, and that's why Neo Color 2 was born. In terms of durability, the crayons themselves are quite fragile. They snap quickly in two just with just a little pressure. I have some artist viewers who left comments in this channel and they recommended. Uh, wrapping washi tape on the barrel to minimize breakage. That lack of durability, however, does not extend to the chemical composition of the pastels. According to Karen Dash, uh, the Neo colors have an unlimited shelf life under norm normal conditions. They don't specify, though, exactly what constitutes normal conditions, but I imagine since these have wax binders, then maybe as long as you keep the product away from heat, you're okay. I do have very old new color sets that have been with me for about uh, five years already, and they still perform as perfectly as on the day I first bought them. Uh, in, in terms of light fastness, Karen Dash follows a standard blue wool scale, where one star means means good, two stars mean very good and three, three stars are excellent. Of the 84 colors, uh, 48 are rated 3 stars, while 24 colors have 2 stars. Combined, uh, that means 72 colors or 86% of the entire set have excellent to very good light fastness. That's not bad at all. 
In fact, it's really very good. No wonder Karen Dash is very expensive. You really pay for quality. If you want to see for yourself which of these colors are great performers, I have linked new colors light passes chart in the description box below. You can check it out later. There's one word of warning which I always say in all in all the product reviews I've given in this channel. Don't always take the manufacturer's word when it comes to light fastness. These ratings are hinged upon so many conditions which, if not followed meticulously, may still result to the fading of your artwork. So bottom line is, take extra precautions yourself and don't expose your work to sunny spots in your home. It's ideal to keep your work under UV protective glass, especially if you're painting on paper or cardboard. In my case, I always protect my Karen Dash paintings with a spray varnish, and that helps deflect the negative impact of UV exposure. One thing great about new colors is that you can use them either as a dry coloring medium or as wet medium with watercolor painterly effects. And when you do activate the pigments with water, all the crayon marks dissolve completely unlike watercolor pencils that often still leave unwanted pencil streaks. Neo color is so adaptable to many techniques. You can build as many layers as you want and blend them directly on the paper or canvas. And that's what you can see me do in this painting. Sometimes I completely water down the pigments for a background wash and I use a wet paint brush for it. But sometimes I want to leave traces of the crayon marks to add texture and visual interest to the piece and it's okay to do it that way too. You can apply dry crayon marks or you can dip the tip of the crayon on water and then write wet. Okay, at this point I'm almost done with the painting but an accident happened. A big glob of water spilled on the canvas and wiped out a big chunk of the painting. I try to salvage what I can and use a sponge paint roller to even out the blur so I ended up with a sort of dreamy vintage look on the painting. I could have edited out this part of the footage but I decided it would be good to show you how forgiving Karen Dashny color is. If you make a mistake, it's not yet the end of the world. You can recover and build up layers again. Not everything is lost, not, not like with pen and ink or even some watercolor paintings where it is often difficult to fix mistakes. So the sponge rolling you see me do here, that isn't a special technique I'm teaching. It's just me doing damage control. Uh, I do make sure that I wash the sponge when it's already soaked in pigments. Then I repeat and clean up uh, um, the canvas um, until the, mu the muddy parts are gone. So basically, I repeated the layering process I did earlier and it just kept coming back uh, to add pastel strokes here and there just to fix what I broke. <laughs> okay, so one more thing I want to say. Neo color is compatible with many other media. Here I added touches of Faber-Castell gelatos, which are like wax pigments in lipstick form. Alright, so let me summarize what is your takeaway from this video. One is that your color is so versatile. You can lay it down any which way you want, wet or dry, either activated with water for a more translucent watercolor effect, or as dry scribbles to mimic the feel of kitty crayon marks or layered thickly for a more opaque look. The, the medium is not picky, it's not difficult to play with, and you get highly pigmented and vibrant colors all the time. Second is that it's possible to recover from a painting disaster when you're working with Karen Dash. So if you get into trouble like I did, don't throw away your project and give up. Go back in and layer pigments again and you'll be okay. Third is that the product itself is reliable and is backed by a company that's been in the business of manufacturing art materials since 1915. Neocolor 2 is light, light fast, is packaged well for long-term storage and has unlimited shelf life. Impact strength, however, is low, so if you drop it, it breaks. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you like the bouquet of flowers I made here. 
I ended up producing sort of a dreamy painting because of that accidental spill. But I think it still turned out well. Okay friends, thanks for keeping me company in this product review and demo. Please join my channel so we can have more creative explorations together. Bye for now. See you again next time in our That Plays and Praise. Ginger here saying God bless you and stay safe.